Hey, what's up everyone? Vortex here and welcome back to another 7 days to die announcement. Today we're gonna talk about the roadmap and uh, all the changes that are gonna happen in uh, 7 days to die. I'm gonna say right from the beginning, I'm not happy with what's going on. <laughs> uh, and I'm worried because not a lot of people are talking about this. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure why. But uh, let's go through the roadmap first, see what's gonna happen, and then I will uh, talk to you guys and tell you exactly what's going on and why I'm upset about uh, this whole thing. Because like I said, I've been following the community of 7 Days to Die and other creators who are making videos about this. And uh, it looks like none of them are actually uh, discussing the changes and uh, <laughs> they just take everything the way it comes, you know, they don't uh, question what they're doing. But anyway, let's, uh, f let's take a look first of what's going on here. So in June, we're gonna have uh, the release of version 1.0 basically the game is coming out of early access and it goes into beta what we're gonna get in june are all the changes that we, we were supposed to get in alpha 22 if you guys don't know what are the changes that will happen uh, with the with this release you can go and check my video that i made about alpha 22 and all the changes somewhere here in the corner you will see the video so yeah there's nothing new about this you can see all the the things they said they're gonna introduce with alpha 22 they're gonna happen in uh, version 1.0 and that's fine all right. Now, in July, we will have the uh, console launch, hopefully. <laughs> we don't know yet because, I mean, this is the fun things uh, we're talking about. So you can see here, like, come on, these dates are rough estimates and subject to change. So, <laughs> you know, uh, don't don't get everything the way uh, they say it's going to happen because it might not happen. <laughs> anyway, so we have the in July, we have the console launch. All right, that's fine. Now, last quarter of 2024, so basically end of the year, we're going to have a new patch. I'm not sure if this one is going to be a version 2.0 or maybe a version 1.1. I don't know how they're going to call it. Uh, what they, they're going to do? Weather system and biome progression overall. We already knew about this. I think they said they're going to give this one with Alpha 22. I'm pretty sure that was part of Alpha 22. Unless they decided to um, split this part, release it later, I'm not sure. We have a wardrobe system. I think this is made uh, because of the new uh, sets that we're gonna have for like uh, a different perks that we're gonna get from those sets. Maybe the wardrobe system will be something that you can uh, swap your sets without uh, going through the whole thing where you have to uh, swap every uh, piece of uh, armor and everything. So maybe the wardrobe system will be something where you just go and you click and you get all the armor and the set on you straight away i think that's what happens there is something like this uh, for example in other games like uh, one that comes to mind is diablo 3 where you saw between the uh, sets and uh, armor with just one click uh, then we have crossplay random gen for consoles this we're going to talk about the console in a moment so uh, with the release of the console in july you won't get the crossplay or the random map generator, yeah? Uh, but we're gonna talk about this uh, in a moment. And plus, additional zombie stages, spawn near friend, Twitch drops, outfit, DLCs, and much more. I don't know what will be much more, what exactly they intend to do, but we'll see. Second quarter of 2025, we finally get the bandits. Uh, we will get the new uh, UI main menu overall, event system, and new quest type. Now, in my video about Alpha 22, I was asking this question where I was saying, why it takes them so long to introduce these bandits? <laughs> uh, because they've been promised for years and years and years and years and years. <laughs> and I had this theory where they might have to integrate the bandits somehow in the game, like uh, in quests and events and stuff like that. So I think this event and new quest type, they are these are connected to the bandits, all right? Uh, that's why we get them. I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. We might, we might have like uh, some quests where you have to go and um, clear a POI where that it's uh, controlled by the NPCs or maybe, I don't know, the event system might be something like uh, raids from the NPCs, you know, on your base, uh, kind of like the Horde Knight or something like that. We'll see. And then end of uh, 2025, so the last quarter is going to be the trader overall story mode, I think, finally. Steam workshop support and new quest type. So I, again, I don't know this new quest type, what's going to happen. But according to them, we will get the story mode, which is great. But again, guys, this, uh, like they say, these dates are rough estimates and they are subject to change, which means none of this. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the June and July 
part of this roadmap will happen. Everything else, uh, I don't think so. All right. Knowing, I mean, guys, you need to understand that this game was supposed to be released completely in gold with all the things, with the story and everything in 2014. <laughs> That's 10 years ago. And they dragged this shit all over the place for 10 years, you know. So we, it's still not ready. We still have to wait another year and a half to get the story mode and everything. So <laughs> all these dates here, they're, they're not going to happen. I'm, I can bet anything with anyone. They're not going to happen. We won't get the story mode in uh, end of 2025. Probably this one, the storm brewing and whatever it is here, the wardrobe and everything. This one probably will happen. But the bandits and the story mode, uh, they're going to drag this uh, longer. Probably the the bandits and stuff we're gonna get them maybe end of 2025 and uh the story mode maybe 2026 or something like that <laughs> that's my opinion but we'll see maybe i'm i'm wrong maybe i'm just judging them too harsh but anyway let's move to what's gonna happen here so let's talk about the console first i'm not gonna go through all the questions and the answers that they gave here because uh it's quite long and I mean, I could give you a couple of uh, bullet points of uh, what happens. So when they will uh, release the console version, as you guys know already, uh, there won't be any discounts for you. I mean, probably there will be, but I don't think it will happen, in my opinion. Simply because they have to agree with Microsoft and Sony for those discounts. And I don't know if Microsoft and Sony, they actually care about uh, their past problems that they had with this game on console uh, to give everyone a discount. <laughs> so... I don't know, maybe unless they they put a fair price for it, like uh, I, to feel like a discount instead of a full price. But I, I really don't think so, because we're going to talk about the price in a moment. Uh, and that's going to be an issue. Um, there will be no crossplay at the launch of a uh, console version, like they said already. Uh, that will come later on. Generating maps is going to be limited. You can have the Navis game and maybe some pre-built maps in uh, already in the game, but... You're not going to be able to generate your own map. That one will come later on as well. There will be no modding at the moment. Uh, maybe it will happen, but I think uh, it's going to be hard for them to to allow people to mod their game on a console. Plus, you need to understand, because all these mods, they have to come from the community, from the modders, not from them. So as long as the community is willing to create mods for the console, uh, then uh, yes, they can do it. Otherwise... Uh, those who own the console version, they're probably not going to be able to mod their uh, their game. Plus, any changes that they're going to make to the game, uh, they say if it's possible to uh, introduce them on the console version, they will. Otherwise, they will be just for the PC version. Uh, they will let us know about that when uh, it happens, if there's something that they cannot introduce on the console and only on PC. So that's pretty much what's going to happen with the console version. So I hope eventually you guys will get it. Those of you who are waiting for the console version, um, you will get it eventually. Let's go to my biggest issue here, and it's about the launch and the price. Now, again, I don't know why people don't talk about this. So what happens here with the uh, release of 1.0? The price of the game will increase to like a hundred percent more which means right now the game i think it sits like uh 20 dollars on steam and it's gonna be 45 dollars and this will happen with the release of version 1.0 right now <laughs> this is the part that pisses me off is this game worth 45 dollars in its current state even with the release of 1.0 all the changes they're gonna make is it worth 45 dollars no don't get me wrong this game it's amazing i love this game i love what they're doing with the game but i don't think it's worth 45 dollars okay now, obviously, for those of us who already have a, a version of the game on PC, I'm talking about the PC here. If you already have the game, you're not going to get charged more. But for those who are coming after June, <laughs> they will have to pay $49, $45. Yeah. Now, they say they will give some discounts and stuff like that. So I think they're using this one. Either they use using this one as a marketing strategy where they try to tell people, come and buy the game now, because otherwise you'll have to pay $45. <laughs> I'm not getting mad about that, if it's that's the case. You know, sometimes in um, when you have a company and you want to make sales, you have to be a little bit cheesy and cheeky. <laughs> but I, I don't think that's the case. I don't think that's a marketing strategy. They just, go, because they said they're going to do this, because other companies are doing it, other games are doing it. Once they uh, leave uh, early access, <laughs> they increase their prices. So they're doing the same because other ones are doing it. That's like saying everyone is jumping out of a building, so we want to jump with them, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, 
I, I I don't agree with this one. Again, once they will release the story mode and the NPC and all this other stuff, then yes, I can say this game is worth $45. In its current state, no, I don't think this game is worth $45. $20, $20 $25, maybe even $30, okay? Uh, you can increase to like 30, but not 45 dollars. This is, I mean, you're just comparing your game with, uh, I don't know, God of War Ragnarok, for example. <laughs> that game is amazing. That game has like amazing story, amazing graphic, amazing uh, combat style, uh, characters, like everything is great about that game. And some people might argue and say, well, uh, God of War, it's a game that you play once, you finish it, and that's it. You're not going to touch it again. Uh, while uh, Seven Days to Die is more like a game for a long run where you keep playing it and then you create another map and then you do this and you... Well, I don't know about that, to be honest. <laughs> and again, let me guys know if you agree with me or not. But in my opinion, if it wasn't for the modders community to give us all those overall mods and mods and uh, modlets and whatever it is, uh, to make this game even more interesting, I would have stopped playing this game pre probably like couple of years ago yes i would come back to it every alpha you know to play for a couple of days a week but it gets boring really quick really fast take a look at jawoodle's um a series with the demolishers only yeah the demolisher is probably the strongest zombie in the game and on day 30 he was already uh one shotting them you know with just one weapon he didn't ha have the, all the other weapons so it's it was really easy and he was playing on instant difficulty with nightmare speed and everything so it was still looked like it was an easy game you know it doesn't matter how much you're gonna keep inventing strategies to make the game fun for you at the end of the day it's still, it's still the same shit you're doing you know you just go in pois clearing them do some quests for the traders get some rewards that at some point those rewards they don't mean anything anymore you know if you see another uh, uh, I don't know, tier 6 uh, sniper rifle, and you already have one, uh, you're just gonna look for that little bit of extra damage if it has it or not, and that's it. You're not gonna be excited about that reward, right? Unless they add some other tier system for the weapons and stuff, so it goes up to like tier 10, tier 50, whatever, 100, I don't know. So every time you uh, upgrade your weapons, you get more excited because they're better and better and better, you know? Unless they do something like that. The way it is right now, it's not really that worth it, right? So that's my issue, you know. $45 for the game in its current state is not worth it. No, no. But I don't know. I'm digressing. Maybe I'm just talking bullshit. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, probably some of you guys will agree with me. Some of you will not agree with me. Plus, again, we'll, we will have to see if they're going to uh, follow the roadmap and they're going to stay true to the dates they put here uh, there is a video here i've been watching a little bit of it but uh i didn't want to finish it because it's basically they're talking about the roadmap so uh, if you guys want to go you can go and watch it and uh, see if you like it or not but this is my problem with uh with the current uh, version that they will release again i don't want anyone to to think that i don't like this game if i didn't like this game i wouldn't play it i wouldn't make content about it i love this game i think it's amazing i like what they're doing you know they keep uh let's say evolving together with the game i just don't like this uh price change like uh again it's not for me i don't care you know i i have already have the game but what if i go to my friend and tell him listen you should buy this game because it's an amazing game and he's gonna ask me okay so what do i get for 45 dollars <laughs> what am i gonna tell him he's gonna say what's the story of this game i don't know there is no story yet you know we don't even know how the story will be i mean now that i'm thinking about they say a story mode but uh I said that if they release all of this, then yes, they might, uh, they should increase the price to $45. But what if the story is shit, <laughs> you know, because we don't know how the story is going to be. We have a glimpse of it. When you start a new game, you end up, you're in a, the middle of a road and some dude Noah that we don't know, we've never seen him. He give us a letter and he say, ah, oh, you pissed off the Duke, so don't do that anymore because he took all your stuff and this and that. But we don't know what happened. <laughs> you know up until that point and if the story of the game will be somehow related to that and they will it will be something like um go through the quest uh, for the traders uh, go through surviving a certain amount of days just to get to kill the duke or whatever it's gonna be some end story you know that's gonna be bullshit if you give me a story like the last of us <laughs> where you travel and you do a lot of things you know i'm not saying 
the same story, but something that is great, something that keeps you uh, stuck to the game, you know, and be like, okay, I can't wait to play a game tomorrow, or uh, like, I, I don't want to stop playing it because I'm having so much fun with this story, then yes, make it $60, I don't care, make it 70 if you want, <laughs> you know, but if it's going to be a shitty story for $45, uh, and the way it's the game is right now, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I don't want anyone to get pissed off me and say, I, why you uh, stop playing the game? If you don't like the game, why you, why you play it? No, I love the game. I love this game. Okay, I'm playing it. I have like over 2,000 hours, I think, which is not a lot, to be honest, because I started only in Alpha 19. Uh, but I know people, they have like 5,000, 6,000 hours in this game. Uh, but for me, to be honest, 90% of those hours, I've been playing overall mods, <laughs> not the vanilla game, yeah? So... That's how I keep entertaining myself with this game, is through overall mods, okay? So yeah, $45 at the release of version 1.0, I think it's wrong. I don't like it, and it doesn't matter if you guys agree with me or not. I hope you, some of you guys can see beyond what they're saying, but for me, it's absolutely wrong. It shouldn't be $45, make it $25, $30, yes, maybe, yeah. But not 45 is too much. Even with all the discounts they're gonna give, I still think it's a wrong decision, and I don't agree with it at all. Uh, but anyway, that was uh, that was the video. Uh, there's nothing else to be to talk about it, to be honest. Uh, just a bunch of other stuff here about the console, but nothing that you guys don't know already. And uh, everything else it's about the price. And we've already seen the roadmap, so I think that's it. Guys, again, please let me know if you agree with me or not, if you think it's a good decision for them to uh, increase the price of the game. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to become a member of my channel, you can press the join button. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.